here's the full main easter egg tutorial for the new custom map the iron dragon made by truman before you get into this you're going to need to know how to build all four bows dk knight made a really good video on how to build all the bows it'll be in the description below make sure you watch it and drop my sub once you finish building and upgrading all the bows there's going to be steps that you need to do with each individual bow you can do these second bow steps in any order you want and if you have mule kick you can also carry two bows at once you need all four bows finished to move on to the next step for the fire bow shoot the orb in the room and it's going to spawn a plane on the map you need to shoot down next shoot the torches underneath the origins church nine three and five and you're finished with the fire bow now go back in the portal next to power where you got the fire orb and you can pick up the essence for the lightning bow, shoot its orb with the bow. Set the top origin switch down. The switch underneath the origins church to the left. And the switch at the bridge needs to be switched up. Next, just come to the roof and shoot the three bonfires again with your bow. In the previous step, you can have those switches already set before you get to that step so you don't have to do it then. Grab the storm bow essence and you're finished with it. For the wolf bow, there's going to be three gravestones in spawn area that you need to shoot with the bow. After you shoot the three gravestones, you shoot them with a gun and you'll see them disappear. Come back next to the orb room and interact with the pile of wolf bones on the floor and follow the wolf to where it starts to dig. This isn't a soul box, you just need to wait till it digs up a bone and you can pick it up. Once you pick up the bone from the wolf, you can go ahead and back to the spawn area and pick up the wolf essence from where you got the orb. After you shoot the orb with the void bow, head back to spawn and there's going to be three of those chimneys just like for the wind staff in Origins. You need to shoot all three of those with your void bow and then make your way into the Derizon Jack Church and follow the purple wisp shooting it with your bow in these three areas here. Once you've shot all three purple wisps, you can head into the teleporter and grab the void essence out of the Origins robot head. Place all the essence back on the orbs in the room where you open up Pack-a-Punch. Interact with the orb that spawns in the middle of the room and then you need to shoot it wherever it goes on the map and follow it. The orb will end on the ammo crate here. When you shoot it, you'll be able to pick up the bullet for the gun and blow open the side of the castle. Once you do that, that orb is up top there. You need to shoot it and it'll go back to the orb room. Interact with the orb again and pick up the Vril device. Place the Vril device down in the bow room and it's going to spawn a keeper that's going to run around the map to four different locations. The only requirement is that the kills need to be gotten with an upgraded bow. They're not individual like in the original Derizon Drac. You could kill all four spots with the same bow or even go back and forth. When you finish with the fourth location, the keeper's going to come to life and he's going to go back into the tomb and then the boss fight is going to be ready. When you're ready to go into the boss fight, all players plant your Ragnaroks down right here in front of the keeper and it'll start. The first phase of the boss fight is just a survival phase. You need to stay alive until an ammo drops and then that pad is sparkling blue again and you go ahead and plant your Ragnaroks down again. When you plant your Ragnaroks down this time, the shields around the four keepers surrounding the middle one are going to go down and each keeper has a different color on its chest that you need to shoot with the corresponding bow to get rid of them. I refuse to submit. 
Once you've shot the four keepers, pick up your Ragnaroks again and you need to charge them all the way until they're full. Once your Ragnaroks are full again, you can go ahead and plant them again in that same spot and the shield around the middle keeper is going to drop and then this acts just like the Shadows of Evil boss fight where you need to shoot him and he's going to move and he's going to keep moving until he gets above the tomb again. When he's there you need to interact with the switch above and that ends it. Go ahead and place the Vril device in the tomb once again and that's going to drop down and open up a door behind you where you need to place the gramophone on the table that's found in the Drizendrak church and a portal will open up for a 75,000 point buyout and a game over. I hope this video helps. This map's a really good one. There'll be a link in the description for it. Thanks.